Lexio Divina means divine reading. It is a form of Christian contemplative prayer that leads us into conversation with God using our entire being. We read with our heart, reflect with our mind, talk to God with our spirit, and contemplate with our bodies. Let us sign ourselves at the start of this prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first step, Lexio. We will read the Word of God slowly, looking for a verse that catches our attention. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John There was a man called John who was sent from God. He came as evidence to give evidence about the light so that everyone might believe through him. He was not himself the light but he came to give evidence about the light. This is the evidence John gave when the Judeans sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He was quite open about it. He didn't try to deny it. He said quite openly, I am not the Messiah. What then they asked? Are you Elijah? No, I'm not, he replied. Are you the prophet? No. Well then, who are you? they said. We've got to take some kind of answer back to the people who sent us. Who do you claim to be? I'm a voice calling in the desert, he said. Straighten out the road for the master. Just as the prophet Isaiah said. The people who had been sent were from the Pharisees. They continued to question him. So why are you baptizing, they asked if you want the Messiah or Elijah or the Prophet. I am baptizing with water, John replied. But there is someone standing among you that you don't know, someone who is to come after me. I am not good enough to undo his sandal strap. This took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan where John was baptizing. I want to make it quite clear that I'm not a candidate. Let's read the passage a second time. Again, looking for a word, idea, image or phrase to stand out and catch your attention. A reading from the Gospel according to Saint John. There was a man called John who was sent from God. He came as evidence to give evidence about the light so that everyone might believe through him. He was not himself the light, but he came to give evidence about the light. This is the evidence John gave when the Judeans sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He was quite open about it. He didn't try to deny it. He said quite openly, I am not the Messiah. What then they asked? Are you Elijah? No, I am not, he replied. Are you the prophet? No. Well then, who are you? They said. We've got to take some kind of answer back to the people who sent us. Who do you claim to be? I am a voice, calling out in the desert, he said. Straighten out the road for the master. Just as the prophet Isaiah said. The people who had been sent were from the Pharisees. They continued to question him. So why are you baptizing, they asked, if you aren't the Messiah or Elijah or the prophet? I am baptizing with water, John replied. But there is someone standing among you that you don't know, 
someone who is to come after me. I am not good enough to undo his sandal strap. This took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan where John was baptizing. I want to make it quite clear that I am not a candidate. Step 2. Meditatio We meditate or reflect on the words or phrases that caught our attention. The phrase that caught my attention was But there is someone standing among you that you don't know. Step 3. Oratio We now respond to the word of God based on our meditation. Start a conversation with God. You might want to thank Him, praise Him, apologize to Him. Tell Him what's on your mind. Speak to Him. My prayer in response to the reading. Dear Lord, the world you have created is majestic and beautiful. Every object, every creature points to your wisdom and your goodness. And amidst all of this, you have placed me. And yet, so many times I am not able to find you. I live my life without hope, without joy. Help me know your presence in everything and everyone you have created. And help me recognize you working in my life so that I may live with hope, joy and gratitude. The final step, contemplatio. While in prayer we speak to God, in contemplation we allow God to speak to us. We stop reading, meditating, praying and allow ourselves to be still and at rest in God's word.
let us conclude Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen thank you for joining us in this prayer service we will see you next sunday